Hello, my name is Patricia Duick. This is what I look like. I am the instructor for your Trigonometry Math 182 course. This is a video that's going to help you navigate Canvas. Most online math courses use MOR, which used to be called Math AS, but I have embedded MOR into Canvas to make it a little easier on you. So if you have classes that already use Canvas, this class will also use Canvas so you don't have to be switching back and forth. I will make a couple of videos about how you will be submitting homework, how you will be uh, utilizing the class and your technology to have a slightly different experience of an online math class than before. Oh look, I've, I've met Artie the Artichoke. This is Potsdam, Germany. Those are my parents. This is me at six months old with my mom. That's me about three years old at Red Rock, Colorado. My dog Widget, he's so much fun. He's six years old. So let's start taking a look at the course and making sure that you can navigate it. And don't be afraid to ask any questions. Um, again, this is new for me and you. And I will try to make this an easy and fun class for you. Now everything that you're going to be doing is going to be in Canvas, so that's not a great place to start. But when you log on, you're going to have a navigation bar over here. So this is where you log out. The dashboard, I can't show you anything because I don't have a student view in that, but take a look and see what you can see in there. And courses really is the place that you're going to be most of the time, courses and calendar. So our course is 182-35821. So let's click on that and take a look at what the course will look like. Now I have the home button here on the very far left linked to the pages that are going to be the most important for you. That way, you, again, you don't have to be clicking around on different things here. You're going to need to look through welcome and first steps. First steps tells you things about the Math Tutor Center, which is very important. It also tells you about Canvas basics. These are great videos. If you have issues with Canvas, this is a great place to take a look and watch some videos. Uh, academic services and student services. So all of this you really, really do need to take a look at. And I'll show you how to do that quickly and efficiently so you're not wasting your time. Now I know that I, I could be using probably more fancy equipment here, but this is what I got. This is what I'm going to do. It's a lot quicker than other things. So as a student, you're going to click on Matt 182 right at the top and you're going to read this page. Make sure you read it carefully. This is, this is explaining how the course is going to be run, which is probably going to be different than other courses that you worked in if you did online classes in mathematics. Now down here at the bottom is the word next. So once you've looked at that, Click next and it will take you to the next thing you should do. The whole course is set up this way. Go page by page. Don't fish around in the modules. Click next. Now the school makes me do this kind of stuff where I have to tell students about who I am as an instructor. This is more like my resume more than anything else where it talks about my contact information, uh, where my office is, what my office hours are, my email address, my response policy, how fast I answer emails. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on next. This page right here is really important. You must read the syllabus. You will have an acknowledgement that you have to click on to make sure that you've read the syllabus and you will also have a syllabus quiz. I will notify you when that will be so make sure that you are familiar with everything in here. This is a legal document, people. This is not a joke or something that you think that you can just ignore. Uh, you must read the syllabus. The course calendar tells you when things are due, the written homework especially. The online homework, it tells you when it's due by nature of the, the, the beast that it is. But this is when homework is due. This is how many sections you should do each week. This is when your in-person tests are. Everything is documented on here. You won't have any online tests, so everything is in person. You have online homework plus some written homework that you have to turn in. Technology is changing things and how we can deal with online courses. 
So it's not just about going to Math AS and clicking on a bunch of stuff anymore. In this class, you will actually have to do written stuff. Follow this. Another regulation that has come down from the administration is that if you do not participate in the course, at least once a week, you will be dropped from the course. So make sure if you are a person who waits to the last minute, follow this precisely. It tells you exactly when and where to do the, the sections, and it will get you very nicely through the course. If you want to work ahead, you may do that as well. I don't have a problem with that. But don't just wait a week and do nothing. I will have to drop you. The written homework list, this is the list that you'll be using to do handwritten homework from the textbook. Now, it will be laid out a little bit more specifically in the modules, which we'll see in just a minute, but this is the homework list. Now, the Canvas syllabus page, this is a page that's also all by itself here on the right. You can see it says syllabus right here. This link here takes you to the syllabus page over here. Um, I put it separately by itself in the module so that you can so that you can utilize it and get to it faster in the order of the modules. Yeah, I'm sorry about this. I'm trying to make this so I don't have to being very stubborn, I apologize. Okay. Now I'm going to come down here and click next. So this next bunch of stuff is all the college policies and student services. We're, so we're going to skip all that. I'm going to go back home and scroll down to Chapter 5. This is where your schoolwork begins. Chapter 5 is where your schoolwork. So you click on Chapter 5. Beginning of every chapter, I have to write an introduction and the learning objectives. You can choose to read them or not. Go down to the bottom, click Next. I am also required to list the competencies of every chapter. When you're done reading those, go ahead and click Next. This, which you, let's see if I can get you to see it. It's way up at the top of the page here. This is the reading material for the entire chapter. You know, your textbook is free. Again, I'm really sorry about this. It's just not exactly the best situation. You click on this, it opens in a new window, and you can see your entire textbook here. Well, not the entire, this is chapter five, all by itself. You can leave this open while you do your work and reference it. I'm going to have you depend more upon the textbook and just a few videos instead of lots of videos in the textbook. If you keep going to see that, where were we? We were on chapter five. Reading materials. It's going to drive me crazy here. Sorry. And I'm not going to edit this because it just takes way too much time to do stuff like that. Go ahead and click next. Now this, after every time, beginning of a chapter, every section is also going to be in a textbook. So you can click on this link and it will take you to just the section that you're working on, section 1.5 from the textbook. So you don't have to have the whole thing open and keep searching around. Go ahead and click Next. Every section of the book will have a video assignment where you watch the videos. This is where you can see that this looks a lot like Math AS or, again, more. You're going to click on uh, Question 1, which is Video 1, and watch the video. When you're done watching the video, you click on here, I have completed this section, and then you will get points. So every time after you watch a video, Click on I have completed so that you get your points. When you're done with the videos, go ahead and click Next. What I've done is now given you some extra examples that weren't in the original videos for every section. And then I will also post the video lecture so that you can refer to them on one page. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Next. This is a discussion page. I'm not sure if every section will have a discussion page, but some of them will. Here I have a set of discussion problems that you need to download. I downloaded it and it looks like this. You're going to work these problems based on the textbook reading as well as the videos that you watched. Work the problems. You're going to post them on here and then you'll get seven points for that. And they have to be completed problems. 
You'll get three points for making a comment on somebody else's page. The whole point of this is so that you can see how other people do their work. Come down to the bottom and click Next. This is your online homework. Now, this is just a small assignment, four questions. Some of them will have up to ten questions. But you will work these problems based on the videos that you've watched and the reading in the textbook. Notice that there's not any videos here to help you for this particular problem. You're going to need to depend on the videos that I post as well as the textbook. If you have questions, I will help you. But I, you are not going to become a good math person if you have a video for every single question. Basically, you're becoming monkey see, monkey do, and I don't want that. You do have two attempts, though. So if you get it wrong the first time, you can go back and see what you did wrong. Make sure you write down your work so you can fix it, and then go ahead and try again. You're never going to learn mathematics unless you try to work it on your own. Go ahead and click Next. Now, this is where you have text homework. So you're going to go to your book and complete the following problems. There's just five of them right here. To submit the assignment, I will show you how to do this in another video. But in Canvas, you just go page by page, go to Next. This is Section 5.2. Next. You've got your video assignment. Next. You have the, the videos with the examples, lots of examples here. Some chapters are harder than others. I come down to the bottom and click Next. I have the online assignment. I click Next. I have the written assignment. Now this section is pretty challenging, so and the book doesn't have a lot of great problems. So you are going to have to click on area of a sector here and work these problems here because they're these are better problems than what's available in the textbook. So just follow instructions, ask questions. I will always ask answer questions. I'm I'm pretty good at that. And follow everything that you're supposed to do, keep up, and things will go well for you. Make sure that if you want to follow a cal different calendar as well, all the online assignments will be listed on this calendar and when they're due. So you can see Section 5.1 is due September 10th, and Section 5.2 is on September 17th. So I will show you another video about how to submit handwritten problems. Thanks.